Hello, hello, hello. Today is Tuesday, December 13, 2022. In the news lately, it is reported that a breakthrough, perhaps a breakthrough has been made in the development of tokamaks. What is tokamak? Let me first go back to nuclear fission. When you break up a heavy nucleus, for instance uranium-235, when you break it up in two pieces, then the weight of those two pieces together, we call that mass of course, is less than the weight of the original uranium-235 nucleus. And that means that mass was deleted, mass was gone. And thus, according to Einstein's theory of special relativity, that loss of mass must come out in the form of other forms of energy. Heat, gamma rays, and more. That is the basic idea about fission reactors, and also it is the basic idea about what is called atomic bombs, like the ones that were used in Hiroshima and Osaka. So, in other words, you converse some mass into energy. If the amount of mass that you get rid of, <laughs> that is the difference between the new product and the end product, if that is M, as in Mary, then the energy that is released is mc squared. <laughs> and c squared is an enormous number. Unfortunately, that led, of course, to the development of nuclear bombs. Nuclear fusion is different. If you merge two isotopes of hydrogen, which are very low mass by themselves, if you merge them into a new nucleus, then the new nucleus weigh less than the two pieces originally. So again, you have destroyed mass. And that means, therefore, again, energy will be released. Nuclear fusion has been believed for decades that could, in principle, be the final solution of the energy on Earth. An unlimited source of energy for the reason that the products that are needed, the isotopes of hydrogen, are readily available. And there's another major advantage that no nuclear um, out of control, like in nuclear fission can happen. So you cannot make a nuclear bomb with fusion. As long as I've been at MIT, <laughs> my colleagues have often mentioned to me that fusion is around the corner. In 1970, my friend, Professor Bruno Coppi, who was the leading person at MIT, told me that probably tokamaks would work within 10 years. What that means is that you would be able to make the fusion happen and end up with more energy than you had to put in. Because if you have to put more energy in to make the fusion happen, then what you get out, of course, then <laughs> that's, that's not what you want. In 1980, he told me it would take another 10 years. 
1990, he says, well, maybe another 10 years. In 2000, he said, probably another 10 years. So now in the news, we learn that a breakthrough has been made. And what does the breakthrough mean? It means simply that more energy is released than what you had to put in to merge these two particles. Let's now read together what you can find on, on the web. I recommend very strongly that you Google the word tokamak. So in fusion reactors, light atomic nuclei are compressed under intense pressure and heat to form heavier ones and release energy in the process. And now comes the key, of course. This is only useful. The process must generate more energy than it consumes. And that has now recently been demonstrated for the first time. A tokamak, Russian word tokamak, is a device which uses a powerful magnetic field to confine plasma in the shape of a torus. The tokamak is one of several types of magnetic confinement devices being developed to produce controlled thermal nuclear fusion power. As of 2016, it was leading the leading candidate for a practical fusion reactor. And here you see a sketch of a tokamak. You see the magnetic field, helical magnetic field, plasma electric current, toroidal magnetic field, toroidal field coil. Why is this so extremely difficult? The temperatures inside the IGER tokamak must reach 150 million degrees Celsius which is 10 times the temperature at the core of the sun in order for the gas in the vacuum chamber to reach the plasma state and for the fusion reaction to occur. So one of the major difficulties is to contain that high temperature so that the whole tokamak doesn't melt. And that is done with magnetic fields. I urge you to Google the word tokamak. What I have done here was only to whet your appetite, nothing more. In principle, if ever, major reactors can be built which use fusion, that in principle can solve the energy problem of the world forever and ever and ever, whatever that means. So please do yourself a favor and read about fusion, nuclear fusion, and then of course also about the tokamak.